Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting Action Figure Friday. And today we have something very, very cool that I am very excited for. Today we are here for the Archive Wave 2 of Star Wars Black Series figures. And as you can tell, there are some really fantastic figures in this that I missed out on because I wasn't collecting six inch figures back then. I was still three three quarter guy. And I'm so happy to have some of these. They especially match up with some I have in another wave of Black Series figures that you'll see soon. But today we're here to open up the episode three Anakin Skywalker. We have Empire Strikes Back Yoda, even though they give him a lightsaber, I guess that's cool. We get our Return of the Jedi Biker Scout and we get our Phantom Menace Darth Maul with the cloak and everything. I think that cloak even comes off and the lightsaber splits. That's gonna be so cool. And I'm just excited to check these out. But since we have four of them, let's get in here and see what we think. We're gonna take a look at the paintwork, the sculpts, the molds, uh, all that kind of stuff, articulation, overall fun factor as well. And you know what, I'm even now that I'm gonna do that, hold on. And now we can get a little bit closer on these things too. I didn't quite need so much space except for that opening shot. But yeah, these are pretty awesome. That head sculpt is great too. Are we sure this isn't like actually a new figure, a new version of it? Ah, oh, the old one came with two heads. Ah. Oh. So that's kind of a bummer that they're not gonna give me the two heads. Or maybe they are, maybe he's just hidden in here. I don't know. Because I'm assuming that other head was the Sith head. And that would be pretty cool to get. <gasps> Yes, all right, cool. I love that they're keeping that somewhat hidden too, so if you didn't know, it would be a surprise. I know this is gonna break some of y'all's hearts, but I buy toys to open them. Here we go. Oh, nice. All right, let's get that out the way. Let's uh, get that lightsaber out. Pop that head out. And there we go. And I do have an episode. <laughs> he's Naruto running. I think he's about to storm Area 51. Do, 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 do. All right, um, anyways. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is cool, this is cool. And I do have the episode three Obi-Wan, so that's gonna be really great. That head sculpt is awesome. I love the eyes in there. I like, I mean, are we, hey, Star Wars, do this, more, more heads, more all this kind of stuff. Get more like Big Warts, please, by all means. All right, this looks awesome. This looks really cool. Looks like you got a place for the lightsaber to peg right in. You know, so you can keep it on his belt, and I'm sure the blade, yep, as usual, comes out. They have been making these things cooler and cooler lately, and I'm very excited about it. But let's look, you get a ton of head range movement. That's actually really good for a Black Series figure. Of course, all of the normal, you know, I mean, this is pretty standard in six inch figures now. Kind of a well-hidden ball jointed elbow. You get some rock, paper, scissors movement, plenty of twist around. You got some twist in there, and some, actually some pretty well-hidden Torso uh, shift or bending there, so that's cool. You got cloth and kind of faux leather uh, going around here, so that should not hinder him too much. Doesn't look like he can quite get out into splits though, so that's unfortunate. But uh, yeah, you can definitely move that around. You can twist at the upper thigh, it looks like. We have a double jointed knee. That eh, could be better designed, but it's not terrible, I guess. I think I've seen worse. And you get a ton of articulation in the ankles here. Side to side, twist, pivot, all kinds of good stuff, so. Excellent. So that's really cool. Let's see, I've never changed the head on a Black Series figure. Let's see how easy or difficult this is. It came off super easy, barely an inconvenience. And boom, we now have an angry Anakin. I hate you. You were my brother, Anakin. You were the, I'm gonna make myself cry. Uh, <laughs> okay, not really, it's not that easy, but um, close. All right, so we got that in there. Although he looks so casual holding it that way. I don't know, maybe he needs a two-handed stance. I can I can get it to two hands, but I also have four other figure three other figures we need to open, so I don't know if I'm gonna. But <laughs> that is unfortunate. Um Yeah. I wish they also had a changeable hand that was like a flat out force hand, because I don't know, that just looks he's like doing that circle game. <laughs> All right, but otherwise he's awesome, and I do love that he did come with the extra hand. That is a great action figure. I'm so excited to have that in my collection now. All right, let's get on to Yoder. Yoder. Yo, 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 Yoder. And so it does look like the original one also came with the lightsaber, so that's pretty interesting. And of course it was 2014. Good to know, good to know. There's that if you wanna see it. Nothing really hiding in the sides. Boom! I'm getting pretty good at opening these. <laughs> these are a lot easier to deal with. Pop Yoda out. Maybe. He's a sticky little guy there. We'll get that out. We'll get the saber out. And we'll throw this all to the side. Whoops. All right. So he has this nice little necklacey thing. He comes with the dig of a snake. You get a cane. 
guess I should show you the snake a little bit better. Cool. Ah! And the blade came right out of the lightsaber. Nice. And uh, yeah, all right. So I, I guess, yeah, you can take this cloth off. It looks like it might actually come off a little too easy. So I guess the belt just unhooks right there. It was not my intention to derobe him, but yeah, it's kind of weird having the old Yoda with a, with a lightsaber, but we're gonna stick with keeping him like the old Yoda. So let's see if we can get this back on, how easy or not that's gonna actually be. And then we'll check out his articulation. His might actually be a little bit different since he's a smaller guy here. A little smaller in statue. Stature, statue, stature, stat. He's smaller. <laughs> He wish he was a baller. He wish he was just a little bit taller. All right, so, uh, okay, so, head side to side, pretty good. Can't exorcist it. Tiny bit of up and down, not a whole lot going on there. Arms, pretty standard arms. Have no idea what kind of elbow we're dealing with because he's under the cloth. You do uh, get some of the rock, paper, scissors. It's a little bit stiff, plenty of twist there. You get some torso, it's a little bit up and down. He's actually pretty comparable to a lot of the others. Can't quite get him out into splits but you can do that. And he doesn't actually have knees, but he, t he does twist and pivot at the, th at the uh, th upper thigh. And you get a little bit of movement in the feet, not too much, and he does have figure peg, finger, figure, fin foot pegs. I knew there was a word. We're just gonna give him his cane, because I prefer this kind of old curmudgeon Yoda. Mmm, everything she needs to know, she already possesses. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, that's really cool. I dig it, I can dig it. Failed you, I have. Sorry, I am. Kiss and make better, I will. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, let's get on to the Biker Scout Trooper. I would love to maybe get a couple more of these if they do, but this is probably going to be the hardest one to find in this wave because people are just going to troop build. They're going to army build. That's what happens. And I guess, oh, so I did not realize. I guess maybe he wasn't actually released individually. He was only released on the speeder bike, it looks like. I could be wrong about that. You can certainly let me know in the comments if I am. But, you know, I'd like to maybe have about six of these guys and maybe two of them on speeder bikes. So we'll get there. Or you can just send me, send them to me in my P.O. box. No, I'm messing with you. Uh, <laughs> I'm shameless. I'm not quite that shameless. All right. I love you. Look at this tiny, tiny little gun. Tiny gun. Fat guy with the tiny gun. I do not see a holster for it. Oh, boot holster. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the holster. I don't wanna put it in his hands right now. And yeah, you don't get any kind of flip up face mask or anything, because there was a three three quarter where you could actually flip up the mask and see a face, but man, he looks great. The detail in here, the paintwork. I like that you got some mud going on on the boots. That's really nice. So again, all right, you get plenty of head, plenty of up and down twists side to side. Looks like maybe, yeah, you can even uns, 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 uns. So that's pretty good. Of course, he's not gonna have a lot of upward range there because of that, but you can totally spin that all the way around. You can bring it out some. Upper bicep twist, double elbow, which is gonna look pretty good because that's gonna hide it pretty well. And it looks like a large amount of uh, rock, paper, scissors movement. Ah, he broke his wrist. <laughs> and twist. He's got some upper torso movement, so that's good, but it doesn't look like there's any mid torso movement. Can't quite get him out into a uh, split. That's pretty hard. It is rubber, but it's a pretty stiff rubber, so it's not gonna move too much. Uh, above the uh, thigh there, or at the thigh, you get double no, double knees, which is gonna look better again because of the armor. Oh, you actually get below the knee twist there, and a ton of range of movement on the feet, it looks like, so that's pretty good. I guess that's so he can sit on the speeder bike better. Hey, you, stop. Hello, my name is TK427. And I have a book that, never mind. All right, I'm not gonna do that. So the Biker Scout is pretty awesome. Oh boy. Oh freaking boy. And yes, I did get the episode one Obi-Wan. You will see that whole way with Dr. Afra and everything in a couple of weeks, I guess, because I try not to open the same line too much in a row. But, uh, <laughs> oh, this is nice. So glad to get them all. Oh, that one, oh, the original mall looks like it came with an extra head too, but I didn't necessarily see this one coming with one. So it looks like maybe a Sith eyes head. Up. Oh, yes, yes. I love it. They're getting more and more like thick warts, but not as expensive. All right, here we go. Ah, got it. Got him. <laughs> all right, this is cool. Let's get all the little bits out the way here. 
Do a little extra mall head. All right. So we get the, which head is cooler? Hmm. Oh, I see what's up. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. So hold on. The original, yeah, the original came in a cloak. So it looks like this head is actually attached to the cloak. So the only real difference here is getting his horns. But still, that's pretty cool because his cloak does come off. So that's nice. And of course, we get the nice little binoculars. That's pretty cool. And yep, blades will come out of the sabers. That's awesome. And it looks like there is a peg, so we can hang this on there. And of course, you can break it apart for dual saber action or maybe put it together for the, <laughs> for the whole saber. That's awesome. That's awesome. We're just gonna look at them. I'm gonna take the cloak off. Actually, you know what, I'm not. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna do that. I wanna leave the cloak look on for a little bit. But I'm sure, yeah, yeah, you can see there's slits right here. That's gonna be, eh, all right. For the, for the sake of y'all, I'll do it. Let's, uh, let's take a look at him with the cloak on here just real quick, and then we'll take that off. We can get a better look at all the articulation going on. But that's awesome. I love that they did that. And then, you know, you can do the single saber. Anakin, down! Do I have a Qui-Gon? I, I think they put out a Qui-Gon. I don't know if I got Qui-Gon. I probably got Qui-Gon. I feel like I did get a Qui-Gon figure. I really need to sort through my figures so I know what I actually have and what I don't. All right, so that's pretty cool. But now let's see how easy it actually is to get this thing off. I think maybe if you just kind of like, maybe if you do that, oh, is it stuck back here to something? Nope, okay. And it's definitely a hole, so we definitely need to get the arms through. I feel like the first one's the tricky one. Ah. Ooh, that looked like it wanted to break his fingers, so. And then I guess we just try to pop the head off, which that worked pretty easy, and then boom, that's out. Ah, oh, they cut his head off! <laughs> All right, let's see if this is gonna be like putting a Super Saiyan head back on with the spikes there. It might be a little bit tricky. You gotta find the right place to uh, grab from because you can't really, ah, ah, that is a little bit painful. But there he is in all his uh, badass of galore. Let's get a saber. Well, I guess I need to do this first. All right, so let's do the articulation rundown. Uh, head can move forward, back, and all that kind of stuff. I'm getting a phone call, nobody important. All right, and of course you get plenty of twists there. You can also do the uns, uns, uns. That's pretty cool. And there you go. Kind of typical in the arms here. Elbow is pretty well hidden. It's a single jointed elbow. And yeah, you get the twist there. Plenty of movement there. That's good. A little stiff in the midsection, but you've got plenty of forwards and backwards. This is all kind of rubberized. There's some actual like cloth pieces here. I feel like he should be able to do a split, but he's not designed to do a split. Uh, right above the thigh, you get some twist. Again, a little stiff. Uh, kind of an ugly double jointed knee. I've seen worse, but that's, I don't know. That's, I guess that's where they're saving some money. And it doesn't look like you get a lot of, you don't get really get any twist below the knee, except in the ankle that can definitely get into some very unnatural poses. And of course you got the up and down and you got feet, feet pegs, so. I like this too, this is like just ghost mall. Ooh, spooky. All right, you know we gotta put this together in one way or another. So let's uh, see what we can do here just for the awesomeness of having double-bladed mall, maybe. <laughs> Why is this so hard? Oh, I'm mushing his fingers in. Oh, those hands are like super kind of soft and mushy. I don't know if that was like an extra design concept just to make these easier to get in his hands or what, but, but it is a little bit, you can actually kind of uh, pliable. That's the word I'm looking for. His fingers are kind of pliable, so that's cool. <laughs> I'm a ghost now. Ooh, Anakin, I'm going to haunt you forever. No. No. Okay. No, sir, I didn't see you playing with your dolls, sir. All right, so there you guys go. That is Star Wars Black Series uh, Archive Wave number two. And I think I just had the most fun with that than I've had with any of these archive. Well, there's only been one archive wave. With any of these waves in this video. And hopefully you've enjoyed this video too. So definitely let me know, what do you think about this? What characters would you like to see in an archive wave three? I honestly don't have any um, suggestions myself right now just because I don't, I can't think of who I have, who I don't, who I'm missing, but let me know. Geek out with me in the comments. I'd certainly love to hear your thoughts on these things. Other than that though, you can click that thumbs up button. Give me that good old thumb of encouragement as I do love to be encouraged. And I'm gonna get out of here so I can go open up some more stuff. I'll see you all later.